Welcome back guys, my name is Mike, this is Go Big Life on YouTube, uh, we eventually will go to other things, let me introduce you to George, this is Fireman George, uh, yeah he's my sidekick. Okay, so today's subject is proper power wire, proper electrical uh, upgrades for your stereo system. And you, you know, you get a lot of people to come in, they, oh, I got a big system, 4 or 5 million watts. I got another system four and five million watts. Then you get to these guys that, yeah, I got 300 watt system, or I got 600 watt system. But man, that 600 watt system, 300 watt system, equals to the guy's 6,000 watt system. And one of the main reasons is, is proper power. Uh, your alternator might be okay, your battery might be okay, but if you're not getting a power back there to your amps, it's like a football player playing that after an hour of football. And you make them drink through a straw. And not even a straw, a coffee straw. What's he gonna do to a football player? You gonna make him overheat and he's gonna die. Right? Same thing with your electrical system. You got these improper wire size, you gonna you overheat your amps, and you're gonna kill them. And people and, and in my industry I see a lot of people that mess up the amps all the time. And I know you wanna prevent it, you wanna get every buck for your dollar, you know, every bang for the buck. You want to get every single watt you can out of your system. Uh, money's not not cheap, you know, economy's all messed up, but hey, this is what I'm going to help you out with. So the first thing you want to start with, have you upgraded your electrical battery charging system or, or your electrical battery. You still have one of those batteries from back in the 80s that came with the car when you bought it new, it's time to upgrade. You now I got a phone call the other day, a customer has a 240XX, had a low 600 watt system, two days later, his battery went out. Change the battery with the same size battery. A week came by, his alternator blew up. I asked, "Well, how many how many amperage is your amp or your, or your system running?" He said, "Oh, uh, if I add all my amps on my amplifiers, they equal to 120. So 120, that's a lot of power for a small battery and a small charging system. So what you need is a deep cell battery. Uh, my favorite is Optima. Now I try excess power and everything else, and those are great batteries." But the price is not for the everyday consumer, you know. For the everyday guy, they can't afford those type of batteries and those type of charging and, and a custom amount. You buy Optima, you buy them all the time, get a Sam's Club membership, they're only 130 bucks. You save about 50 bucks over Walmart and everybody else. So there you go, you know. Buy it right, you get great warranty. First thing you need, you got the front battery, you gotta get power to the back. What kind of amp kit are you using? Are you using some cheap amp kit or are you gonna need some brand name stuff? Here I've got Streetwire amp kits. Now this is the 8 gauge. This is ZN1 line. This is the 2010 model. This is the low, the, the entry level system, right? So you see this ZN1 kit, 8 gauge. This is a good wire, power, ground, remote, fuse holder, right? Real simple. It takes the AFS fuse. The good thing about AFS fuse that it don't melt or the solder don't come out. You know, it's, it's a single state uh, fuse with just a color coded cap on it. That's it. Boom. That's the 8 gauge kit. George, check care of that. Right? This is a 4 gauge kit. Same thing, ZN1 4 gauge kit. 2010 model. Same thing, FS fuse holder. Uh, come with the power, the ground, the remote, the fuse. It's a simple power kit, you know. Right? The next one they have is what it's called power station kit. This is actually 09 model. Uh, it's being discontinued. Is it actually going to get is the name's gonna change to ZN5. Alright? So the power station kit, 4 gauge, ground power, is this a low bit heavy duty power wire? You know, is uh it's not CCA rate rated, it's actually uh CEA rated. So which of this is a thick wire gauge, uh it's true wire gauge, but it's powerful, right? You, I know you get these cheap amp kits from the flea market and whatnot. Man, if I put this amp kit Versus cheap amp kit, the price you pay difference is like buying an extra amp difference. You know, it won't burn your system, the fuse will never pop. If you've done the job right, you gotta get a right amp kit. Four gauge amp kit. Right? Shoot wire, O gauge amp kit. The bigger fuse, battery terminal, right? Battery terminal has a ground terminal that you can't see is hidden under here. O gauge kit. For the really big system, you gotta have an O gauge kit. There's no there's no minimum. Now, if you have a big, big system, you're running two or three of these old gauge kit, right? Let's say a street wire, the company does one thing, one thing on. They make 
wire, power wire, and RCAs for your car system. Those are nothing else. You, you're not going to sell them, sell them TVs. They're not going to be selling. And it, this is a specialty company that does this and this only nothing but street wire. I'm, just because I'm out there street wire doesn't mean that's the only thing I sell. There's Tom Cough, Lightning Audio, Rafa Fonz Gate. Right? I sell this stuff to kick a wire. Remember, when you call it brand name stuff, it's always a good brand. You cannot go wrong with Ferrari, Lamborghini, Maserati, right? Those are high end brands. You can't go wrong with some Toyota, some Ford, some Chevy, some whatnot. Because they make good and bad. Brand name stuff, they make good high end equipment, right? There's Monster Cable out there, there's Street Wires, there's Stinger, you know, I'm a big fan of the Stinger cap capacitors, right? So now we got all the power on the side. Next thing you do, you got to reinforce it. When the base hits, what do you give it to, to get some power, right? This is the open direct electronics, right? And I tell you right now, just because you don't have, or you don't think you have a money to afford one of these, uh, the main reason one of these is here for it is this kind of like your energy shot. When, when your system just hits that one note, and, and you get the music that go boom, and half the bass note is gone because there's no power running it. With a capacitor, it'll give you a full bass note, right? So it's like, boom, complete bass note. And that's what a capacitor does. It gives it the power to run the full bass line, right? This is a direct electronics. I actually got this on eBay. It actually cost me about $22. It was brand new. Um, it didn't have mounted brackets on it. But it's a brand new direct electronics. You know, it does 24, uh, 20 to 24 volts. So... That's a capacitor. You get these capacitors that does 12 to 18 volts, that's not what you want. You need something that has 20 to 24 volt surge. And that's what you want. So this is direct electronics. Right? This is finger cap. Oh, I'll pre-open the package for you. It comes with the, the power block, the cap, right? Same thing. It's a high high power capacitor, it does 20 to 24 volts, right? It comes with these power wires. You hook up to the cap, you hook up to the block, then you have input from the battery, output to your amp. It makes the installation cleaner, nicer, and beautiful. Right? That's the thing on cap. Mm -hmm. Battery terminal negative, you know, this is when you do the big three upgrade. Big three upgrade is another story. I'm actually going to do a live uh, installation of a big three upgrade in the future. Right? This is one of my favorite caps Stinger ever made. It's actually called the Stinger Digital Nitrous Style Cap. You know, this was my display for my store. That's why there is missing some parts. You know, it's a beautiful cap, man. It looks like an off bottle. It lights up like an off bottle. Uh, I put these right next to an off bottle and people thought it was something else. It, it's a beautiful cap, right? It's chrome and shiny. You see yourself in it. Bling, bling. I bought this on eBay, $59. Retail was $200. Bucks. The cheapest this, my dealer cost on these when I had to buy at dealer price was $120. But you can find them on eBay, $59. They're brand new. You know, you go with Stinger, you go with Streetwire, you go with Monster, you go with Rafa Fosky. These are brand name caps that have power and do what you need to do is to give your base the full note. Mm -hmm. We started with the battery, we started with the power wire, we started with the capacitors to give it amp the full power, right? Connections, I didn't use a high end connection, I didn't use those rinky dinky o rings that I don't know, call them 10 cents from China, right? High performance stuff will give a high performance sound for a high performance car, right? So, we got all the power done. The next thing we got to talk to is the power from your amp to your speaker. What do you run? My minimum. 14 gauge for tweeters and mid range. I've seen people use wire half this thick for the subwoofers. And I'm thinking, dang, what are these idiots thinking about? 14 gauge is the minimum for your mids and highs. Anything smaller, I, I, you just got issues, you know. You, unless your amp is, is inside your door panel and you can use maybe 16 gauge or 18 gauge. If not, Minimum is 14 gauge.